Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, this is uh, disturbing information. I'm kind of going to connect some dots here. Maybe it's a vague picture. Maybe there's no proof of anything. But this is concerning. Uh, this headline that I just picked up off of a Facebook friend from antiwar.com. Headline reading, U.S. military suicides hit highest level since the war began. And now see, this is how my mind thinks. It, it automatically triggered a while ago hearing how many of our soldiers are on antidepressants, which there is proof that antidepressants lead to suicide, um, and it's fully understandable. Anyway, let me read this post, and, and then I'll chat with you for a minute. U.S. soldiers are committing suicide at an alarming rate in 2012, according to new Pentagon statistics reported by the Associated Press. The rate was roughly one per day, with 154. 154 suicides in 155 days. The rate is the highest since the last round of wars began in 2001. After hitting a record of 160 for all of 2009, the suicide rate was reportedly leveling out in 2010 and 2011. Official studies have struggled to explain the latest rise, attributing it to non-military causes like drug abuse and financial problems. Why, why do our military people having financial problems? They should be cared for. Why are they taking drugs? Uh, I'm going to link you. You can read the, uh, well, I'll read the rest. It's just short here. The military has made uh, very public its efforts to get the problem under control, particularly after reports showed that half of the soldiers had sought professional help beforehand, emphasizing programs aimed at eliminating reluctance to seek help. It seems, however, those programs have had very little effect. The soaring rate of deaths actually puts the number of U.S. soldiers killed in suicides so far this year slightly ahead of the numbers killed in the occupation of Afghanistan. More people, more of our soldiers are killing themselves than our supposed enemy is. Does this tell you anything, sheeple? Those men and women over there uh, are under such strain. And you know what? As people in general are waking up, so are our military. They, they see the lie. They know they took part in the lie. That's very depressing. That, that's a very lonesome place to be. Especially when it means that you've taken people's life for a lie. Now, people that are trained and not afraid of death military people especially they're not afraid of death they they have a propensity to probably kill themselves knowing that when they come home the same atrocities they're enacting over there they'll soon have to commit upon the american people our soldiers are killing themselves more of them are dying than are being killed by osama and his terrible terrorists now so before I brought you that bit of information the link to that post will be below I googled military on pills just to see what I'd get military can't keep tabs on pill popping troop Senate says military rations pills abuse of pain pills by troops concerns Pentagon military sex and supplements ephedra diet pills uh, for army troops, prescription drug may add to fog of war. U.S. military heavily armed and medicated. Raw, uh, let's see here. Well, iodine pills. Stocking up on iodine pills. Malaria pills. So they're taking pain pills. They're, t they're taking uh, antivirus pills. They're, they're taking, uh, good lord just like Americans. Anything they can get their hands on. Why? 
because they don't want to kill. They wanted to defend. They don't want to kill. They, they don't. They don't want to support this nation. They're ashamed. We the the Illuminati is responsible for killing our troops, as I see it. These people are waking up, and so ashamed. I, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Well, anyway, link will be below. What what do we do about it? I'm not completely sure because uh, I got a lot of ideas, lots of ideas. Oh yeah, everybody's got ideas. But now to find an equal number of people that have the balls to enact any of those ideas—that's the next step. Op stop the bullshit.